This is my bottle rocket swarm grenade. I took two inch PVC and a two inch PVC coupler, sanded down the middle portion so that you can slide a piece through. And then I have this little setup I built with uh, tubing. Uh, I think that's 15, 30 seconds brass. And I took this Dremel bit, you can see there's like melted plastic on it, but it fits the size and I just sorta went in at an angle and sand it out, anything else that needed to be, so that I could push these barrels in. Got them in the, the sort of triangular position and then used some glue and then also around the edges just to keep it secure. I then put these uh, rubber grommets on to protect the barrels from impact and those are just two on each barrel and I'm going to be using uh, steel wool which is 4-0 grade extra fine um, it's pretty cool if you guys have ever seen how in a survival situation you can use steel wool in a 9 volt battery basically this is my power source Right now it's not working very well because it's so humid out that I can't get this to spark as easily as I'd like. So I'm just going to be using my jet lighter to ignite this, but this will work in the future. Basically you just put the contacts on a piece where the, uh, the steel wool is, and then when you press the button it will start to ignite. And then when you throw it, because there's oxygen that's able to penetrate when you throw it, it fuels the fire and then ignites all six of the fuses and you get your rocket swarm. So it's a pretty, uh, I don't know, barbaric idea I guess you could call it, but I just thought it was something cool. I thought up one day and I was like, what the hell, why not? I had all the parts, so it was just a matter of putting it together. Um, I'll show you how I prepare the barrels. Here's your ammunition, it's just a bottle rocket. You take off the wick and then take it off of the stick. This will serve as your wadding and then here is your rocket. So this one here. So what you do, take a little bit of steel wool, about that much, and just kind of wrap it around the wick and then pop it down the barrel. It doesn't matter if it if it's not like perfect, but you just want to sort of get a little bit of steel wool in the barrel, and that way you can get a better spark. So you'll see it's just sticking there. And then you just take the wrapper. You don't want the whole thing because it'll obstruct it from firing. So about a fourth, just that much, just enough to clog it so that it won't fall out when you throw it. Put a little bit more. So that's it. You're ready to go. So what I like to do is make sure that the steel wool is nice and fluffy so air can penetrate and won't choke it out. And then it's just like that. You can put a little bit on the other side too. So you can see that's sort of the chamber. I have like a ball rolled up in the middle. And if you really want this to work flawlessly, you might want to take some tweezers and reach down in there and sort of flare it out so that it's a little more feathery so it'll catch fire easier. And then I guess I'll just show you how it works. So so like I said originally this would be the button but because uh, because it's a little humid out it's really difficult to get this to catch. Here I'll show you. There see it it's there we go. So that's how it would work, and I believe that this would easily work on a warmer day, but it's just so humid that the steel wool won't catch. So here's the grenade, and I'll light it, blow a little air. So that's that was pretty good. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Here I'll close up on it so you guys can check it out.
It's a little smoky. So you can see the steel wool worked like it was supposed to. Lit all the barrels. Hopefully there's not another live one in here to shoot my face. So now you can just repack it and reuse it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't use this for destructive purposes, but you guys know, just be careful. Alright, thanks for watching.